in part five, I'm going to discuss some of the problems that can occur both when using polymer clay and triple thick. As you can see, each of these have different mistakes that have happened. Like in this one, the edge of the photo is kind of white and torn. And that can be from the baking or it could be the photo paper wasn't very high quality. You can see pits here on the triple thick that didn't quite cover. Maybe it wasn't on a level surface, which is the most common. And this one's kind of bowed. And there's all kinds of mistakes like this where the triple thick actually got underneath the image and bowed it out. Some of them are easy to fix and some of them you, re you really are just best to start over. And I'll show you which ones are better to go ahead and start over and which ones you can just try to fix. And then again, another bowed one, which is very common to happen. Some of the triple thick there didn't quite cover. Now, what we usually do is use the Dremel to go ahead and grind down some of the edges. Like on this particular one where the photo didn't quite adhere right, we can add some more of the Bacon Bond Sculpey underneath to really adhere that photo, which we'll do later on. What, right now what I'm gonna do is just sort of grind the edges here, try to make that nice even surface that we want with this pendant. As you can see, as we do that, sometimes we even make the white edges of the photo paper a little bit worse, but I have a pretty neat little technique you can use to fix that and actually make it more to where it's planned rather than just a mistake. You'll find sometimes some of the best mistakes actually end up being the highlight of your piece. So you just grind down a little bit with the um, sandpaper bit on the Dremel. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually grab some alcohol ink and rub it into just a paper towel. And these are some of the earth tones. You can get most alcohol inks at um, Michael's or any of your local craft stores or even online. I prefer alcohol inks because they cover other surfaces better. I find that they tend to last a little bit longer too. What I'm going to do is actually just rub this into the photo paper to make it look like that distortion was actually planned. So you just rub it in, it kind of matches the photo, so it just sort of gives it this vintage steampunk look. You just want to cover as much of the photo as you can without dropping it. And just go ahead and rub all the ink in there until it's nice and even or the color or the way you want it to look. And remember you can always coat it again with triple thick or bake it again with the Bacon Bond Sculpey just to adhere that photo down at the edge. We're not going to do that in this particular video because you know how to do that. We're just sort of showing you a way of getting around some of these common pitfalls when you're using polymer clay. The biggest thing is to make sure you're using an even surface. And just go ahead and keep rubbing in the ink and take out any of the pieces of triple thick that have gone into the corners. And just continue on and then once it's dried, usually a few hours, it doesn't take long, and you can just go ahead and coat it again with the triple thick. Now another common thing that happens is you can get some of the pieces where you have large gaps or the triple thick didn't cover all. You can just sand those down like this and just again coat it with the triple thick. If it's a small minute place, you can just use a little paintbrush and just coat that portion of the triple thick just to kind of almost like fill it like a like a bond or putty like you would do for any kind of paint job. Same concept. You don't have to necessarily coat the entire piece again. Just kind of grind it down and then once you coat it with the triple thick, it'll set again and all those little discrepancies and errors, you won't even see them. Now, if it's just a very small thing, you just need a little, maybe sand a little bump or something very small, you can, you can do that and then go ahead and just spray, spray it excuse me, with a clear coat and get the same effect as well. If you don't want to go to the trouble, if it's just something very small, you don't have to do all the work. Now on these, maybe the sides are not quite even, you want to level them out, you can just sand them again and then just coat the sides one more time with a triple thick. And just go ahead and grind that out. Now some of the pieces 
if you didn't use a flat surface or maybe you didn't use a mold or a cookie cutter, um, unfortunately, if they're severely bowed, you won't necessarily be able to save them and it's best to just sort of start over. If you, um, for example, get some of the triple thick underneath the photo instead of on top, a lot of times your best bet is to try to save the photo if you can and just scrap the polymer clay piece and then try again. It kind of is, you know, there is a learning curve with it, but once you get used to it, and you use like a pasta roller and pasta maker, it really makes it a lot easier. So you just want to go ahead and grind those down, sand them all even, and then again, you can cover them with the triple thick and recoat it, or you can just simply clear coat it if you need to. Well, I hope this helped you in some ways to make some of those errors become actually the highlights of your pieces and never be afraid to to improvise and I hope you look forward to the next tutorial and please subscribe and thanks for watching.